Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today is December 15th, and I'm gonna be secession planting some carrots and other root veggies in this bed here. Let's get to it. I actually bought some new carrot seeds to try out. So I've got three different varieties. I'm gonna try out Danvers, Purple Haze, and Atomic Red. So I'll try those out. I also got some beets, some Detroit, and I don't know how to pronounce it, Chigagia or something. And then we're gonna plant all the rest of the stuff. So today we're planting more. Two and a half weeks of session. Might try the trench thing again. Because I was able to get it really thin in there. I feel like the carrots took forever to come up because I buried them too deep. You really don't wanna go super deep with carrot seeds. And we'll just place the seed what seems like every two inches. This is the Danvers variety. All right, do you see this little trench that I made? The light little trench? Right, see it along here? So we're just gonna put a couple seeds. We're gonna move forward here, a couple seeds. I'm gonna lightly sprinkle them through. Do you see it on that side? Make sure you get it in the trench. Why can I walk in on a bench? I can go. I can get me some time. I do in the spots you can't reach. Good, thank you. Here, I'm gonna come over there actually. All right. I'm gonna get the last little bit here. And we're gonna just cover it. Do you wanna help cover, Abby? Yeah. I'm barely, look, look, I'm barely sprinkling dirt on top. We're barely lightly, not very much. Like this? Mm-hmm. Good. And we'll pat it down lightly. Good, perfect, look at that. You did a great job. So we're gonna move this down. And this is for the radish. So with the radish, I am gonna make little holes. So what we're doing is we're taking just two to three and putting two to three per hole. Okay? Two or three? Just two to three per hole. And then cover up the hole when you're this done. Much. Two to three seeds. This much? Uh-huh. Or three, or three done? Two to three, yes. Two or three. I'm gonna do three. Shalt thou count to three? No more, no less. Three shall be the number thou shalt count, and the number of the counting shall be three. I'm gonna grab the And then cover the hole when you're done so we know which ones you planted. Three. Do you see the little holes? Get out of there. I'm putting a piece of hay and I put it out. You wanna keep an eye on that? Purple haze carrots. So I really liked having the really red and the purple carrots. However, in the rainbow blend, you don't know what you're going to get. You're going to plant a row, and I got like three of the purple and two of the red, and then the rest were orange and white and stuff. So I'm going to pick the two that I really like. I'm going to plant a whole row of this purple carrot, and also I've got some atomic reds. These being a special variety, they are really skimping out on the seeds. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. I'm gonna be really careful, because I wanna save some of these for next year, and I'll have to plant more. So I'm gonna be really careful on how many I plant. Usually I overplant the carrots, but not with this. Next is a tender sweet. So this tender sweet is another orange carrot and the Danvers is as well that I just planted. The Danvers is new. I know that these tender sweet came out real good. I really liked them. But I want to try out those Danvers. One thing I will say about these tender sweets is they're a little bit on the more narrow side. Those Danvers come out a little fatter and I wanted some fatter carrots and see, you know, see if I can get some supermarket size carrots. So whenever I'm planting something where I have quite a bit of seed, like these tender sweets, I overplant. So when we thin these out, we'll be eating the little baby carrots. So I always plant way more than I need and then just thin out the, the weaker of the sprouts. All right, so now for the atomic red. And this is the other one that I really liked from that the kids liked it too. They just love that color. 
I think it's really cool. Those rainbow blends are awesome, but it's kind of a crapshoot on which one you're going to end up with. Wow, those are actually different. These are much larger seeds. That's interesting. I thought all carrots were alike. Now check out those seeds. They are about double the size, much longer. So you don't get as many seed in here as you do with like the, the tender sweets, but it's a fair amount. That's enough for next year easily. I didn't have to go super sparse. All right, now for the Detroit beet, which is a really dark red beet. And as I've mentioned before, beet seeds are a little different. In fact, they're very similar to chard. And turns out that actually beet and chard are related. Chard is part of the beet family, but they just don't grow their roots the same way. They're not edible roots. That says every four inch. You want to come plant these, Abby? Yeah. So these are a little easier. Grab two of these. They're put two in each hole. I'm pointy. Yeah, they're different kind of looking yeah, seeds, aren't two. they? Two. Two or three, whatever. If you want to put three, you can. Where is these it? holes right here. Mm -hmm. You see the hole? Yep, put one there. All right. Come on this side. Got one little one. Dad? Uh huh. I want a piece. So, this one. one. They're good. All right, here's two. Three. Okay. Plant those in the next one. Those are going to be small, right? All right. Three or two. Plant those two. Are they getting in the hole? You don't know? <laughs> okay. Oh well, we've got enough beets. Good job planting. The next I'm going to plant is these cherry bells. Let me get these real close together. And these radishes grow so quick and you can grow them real close to each other. You can really get a good harvest. Chagoya. I, I don't know how to pronounce this beet, but so that means they're a little smaller. Um, they're real pretty. They've got like these white and red stripes. Now that's a little too close together. Get some of these seeds. All right, so let's see the holes. Two per hole. Uh-huh. All right, now we're going to do Parisian carrots, and these are quite small. Hopefully they don't impede in the growth of these beets or hopefully the beets don't impede in the growth of these carrots. I am a little worried about this bed because it's all root veggies and I realized that I put a lot of compost in here. So we'll see, hopefully there's not too much nitrogen and it won't affect them, but we'll see how this goes. All right, so the last one is something called a starburst radish. So they're pink on the inside, white on the outside. They're really pretty. Let's give them a try. I, I saw those and just had to try them out. I've not planted these before, so let's see how they go. It's gonna be another one of those I'm gonna have to be real careful with. Two seeds per hole. And there we go. I am done planting this bed. Now I could use the drip system. However, I wanna make sure that this gets a good coating all around. So hopefully I don't spray those carrot here, seeds here. off. Right here. No, I don't need to right there, hon. All right, we'll spray it. I just need water, not rain for a while. All right, so there we go. It's all sprayed that. down. I had something called a Rambo radish. that I was using for microgreens, but I've never seen them grow fully out. So I wanted to give them a try. So I planted these about once every four inches and they just started sprouting. You can see a couple of them here all along. And uh, that was before I got these seeds in. So I wanted to wait and then plant the rest of this with all the carrots and all the other root veggies. But I did plant this recently, much after this stuff um, but maybe last week. So they sprouted today. So we'll see how these go. I'm not sure how long they'll take or what kind of root they're going to produce, but I want to see what kind of radish those will turn out to be. I have a feeling they're going to be a daikon radish type. So stay tuned. In a couple days, I'm going to bring you guys back and we'll go ahead and see how these sprout. Of course, the radishes are going to sprout much sooner than the carrots. Carrots always take the longest. Oh, welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today is December 27th. Just a couple days after Christmas here. And finally, every single one of these have sprouted. Let's come on this side here. And here are the Starburst Radish. I got almost two in every single one of those. One doesn't have two yet. But 
Those sprouted well. The Phrygian carrots have sprouted. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's a beet. It's Chiogia, something like that. Um, but they're the, the beets that have the spiral inside. It's kind of like red. It's like a bullseye. It's red and white. Really pretty. And then these are the cherry bell radishes. These will be harvestable very soon. It does look like I've got a little bit of something chewing in here. Kind of cutting off those those leaves, but not not all of these, so just a little bit. I haven't been able to see what exactly that is. And then we've got the Detroit beets. So these are the really red beets, really good for stews. And then we've got the red carrots. We've got the tender sweets, what I've grown before, the purple haze, more of the cherry bell radish. And then these are the Danvers, I think it is. And those carrots as well. And those are another type of just regular orange carrot, but they get a little fatter, I think, than these tender sweets. So I wanted to check them out. So all of what I have planted have come up and they're doing really well. So that was the succession planting. I did do these a couple weeks before and all these are doing really well. I've already got secondary leaves on a lot of these carrots. Finally, all these have sprouted. In fact, they've been sprouted for a couple of days, but with Christmas and all, I haven't been able to come out here and do as much filming. So I'll bring you guys back in a couple of weeks once I'm harvesting these. And that'll be a couple different videos because I'll be harvesting the radishes a lot sooner than the beets and the beets even sooner than the carrots. And so it'll be a pr progression of different harvests that you guys will be able to see on a couple of videos. But thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit that like button, it would really help me out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.